the city of Markham. So are we ready? One, two, three. I wish to extend an, uh, an introduction to a person who needs no introduction, Your Worship. Well, thank you very much, uh, Father Otis. And before I start, Kalispera to everyone. Welcome to the And um, I, I just want to take a moment to acknowledge uh, some very special people uh, that are here that have joined us for this uh, flag raising and, and celebration. And I uh, want to take an opportunity to, to recognize them, not only for their presence here today, but for their leadership in the Greek community, certainly here in the Toronto area and certainly across Canada. A uh, special welcome to Consul General of Greece in Toronto, Consul General Dimitris Azapopoulos. Welcome, uh, Consul General. Uh, I tried to keep up with the Consul General on Facebook, and he out Facebooks everybody in the area. There isn't an event he doesn't celebrate, and I wonder the great energy that he has. Uh, so thank you, you do a wonderful job, and, and certainly uh, great in the way in which you uh, not only represent Greece and Toronto, but truly uh, you and your office and the commissioners here as well do a wonderful job of bringing together the Greek community throughout the greater Toronto area. So again, thank you. Of course, uh, His Eminence, uh, Metropolitan Archbishop Sotoritos Anathasoulis. Welcome, uh, I know, uh, being Italian, these Greek names should just come right off my, my tongue, so forgive me if I don't get them 100%. But I know Father Otis very well. Father Otis, thank you very much for being here. And, for being here. Uh, so. and I also want to recognize the president of the St. Petit-Lemon uh, Board of Directors, John Leagakis, who's also here. Of course, uh, I think you made a wonderful choice in choosing John to, to raise the flag. Uh, he is someone who's been part of the Markham community for many years, and he, among many others, uh, are, have been great leaders in our community, particularly with the church. So, John, thank you. You did a wonderful job of raising the green flag. And also, the president of the uh, metropolis, Philip Tokas. Uh, Ms. Uh, Efmia Kotosuberas. Uh, sorry, Efmia. I just know her as Effie, and that's what I, I I also want to make mention to thank uh, Daniel, Daniel Canis, for singing both national anthems and such great pride. 
And truly that diversity action plan speaks to the multiculturalism that we have within our community. It speaks to the different faiths that are expressed, the religious groups that are here in our community, but it also speaks to individuals who face physical and mental challenges, that they know that they are an important part of our community. And so, whether you were born in Markham or whether you decided to come here from another part of the world, it's really a place that people feel at home, they feel welcome, they feel respected. And it's moments like this where we can actually acknowledge the fact that people left their homeland to come to communities like Markham in Canada to start a new life for their families and to be part of the wonderful success that Canada has. And there is no doubt in my mind that if Canada is the best country in the world, it's because many in the Greek community have made it so. And so I thank you for And so I, I thank you for the wonderful vision that started over 25 years ago. I know this fall you will be celebrating the 25th anniversary of the church. And you know, just like Greek independence, the church didn't have a, a sort of a quiet beginning either. But you know, what I've always been impressed, what I've always been impressed with is the fact that the leaders in this community worked with Martin Council. They worked with the community. But as much as you extended that hand to say we want to work with everything, with everyone, you never wavered with your determination to have your own church in the city of Markham. And I'm proud to be part of your history in developing that church. But as much as I love the church, I love the Greek festival. <laughs> That has truly become one of the main events in our community. Not only where the Greek community from Markham, but across the greater Toronto area get a chance to come to Markham. But truly what I've been impressed with in the last few years are the other groups, the other cultures that are coming through the front gates to enjoy the wonderful Greek food and entertainment. And so I say thank you for the wonderful treasure that you've given to us with your church and with the wonderful Greek festival that's also ce celebrating their 25th anniversary. Now our, yes, I must give a hand to everyone involved. Because I know that that is, that, that festival happens truly with the, uh, the blood, sweat and tears of all the volunteers that are able to pull that off each and every year. It's the best Greek food anywhere in Canada, I can attest to that. Now as much as we celebrate as the Greek community today, and the one thing you didn't quite stay on course with, Nick and John, is you said you were going to bring just a few people to celebrate this day. But we're happy to have such a wonderful turnout. Uh, certainly the leadership in the church, the leadership in the community, and those that live and work in Markham and those that, that know people in Markham that wanted to be part of this celebration. And while we take moments like this to raise the flag, I also say that we recognize the contribution of groups in our community by making sure that there are names in the community in the city of Markham that the community recognizes. And certainly today we're pleased uh, with all of council being here to unveil a street sign after a Greek individual, I think perhaps one of the most influential in the history of the world. He is someone who has contributed to almost every field of human knowledge, uh, certainly uh, in new fields, areas of biology and sciences, humanities and social sciences, philosophy and logic, from academic learning to civic organization. It's also been said that this person surpassed his all-encompassing range and is the embodiment of learning, and that his works continue to, perform, to provoke, inspire, and inform some 2,000 years later. I know, John, you thought this name was after you, but it's not. <laughs> One of 
his messages, one of his messages that truly caught my interest is that the aim of a city is not just to achieve economic stability and justice, but to allow people to live a good life. And this is truly something that all of us here in Markham strive for. And so perhaps by no coincidence, and maybe I should leave this part, because then I truly will give it away. I would like to invite John and Nick, the Archbishop, to please come forward, Father Otis to please come forward, and the Consul General, and members of Council, if you could it's also... It's a great pleasure that we unveil a new street in the city of Markham. So are we ready? One, two, three! three. that Aristotle, his name roughly translates the best purpose. And truly that's something that can all guide us no matter where we are. If we're at church, if we're at work, and truly if we're in the community. So uh, I hope you are as proud as I am to have Aristotle Drive in the city of America. John to come back up and the Consul General for this. I would like to present a very special plaque and it reads, on behalf of members of Council of the City of Markham, it's our pleasure to join our residents in celebrating Greek Independence Day. Markham is proud to be Canada's 16th largest and most diverse city, welcoming people from all over the world to make their home in our vibrant community, where we are strengthened by the many talents, cultures, and experience. And I present it today on a day that we celebrate Greek Independence Day here in the city of Markham. Congratulations and thank you. Can you go on both sides?
with this notion of excellence because all of us who are here today is you, your mayor, mayor that I truly respect with all my heart, the city council, all the members who stand from the government, from the federal government, from the provincial government here, and above all, you, the Greeks. You have all excelled with your work, with your ethics, with your faith, with your attachment and commitment to the motherland, which is Greece. You've all excelled all these years. And you make us back all us, ourselves who are back in the motherland, in your motherland, in Greece, proud of who you are, proud of what you have achieved, proud of your contribution to the idea of the nation, of your nation of Greece. Aristotle said also, Gnothis Afton, To know yourself becomes the most important source of wisdom. To know who you are, to defend who you are, to defend your values and your principles no matter what, to stand by your nation, to stand by the historical truths of your nation. Να υπερασπίζεστε τις αξίες και τις αλήθειες του έθνου σας. And you have to do it fearless, proud, committed, attached to the idea, to the sacred idea of Greece. Greece is more than a country. Greece is a vision. Greece created the course of mankind. With whatever we have offered through millennia to mankind in sciences, art, philosophy, literature, in everything that makes our world beautiful, no more beautiful, a world to live in. This is what Greece has offered to this world. And today, under a bright sky of Marta, nothing happens by chance in this world. <laughs> Nothing, believe me. We are all here, so very many, to honor, to honor our country, our nation, our ideas, our truths that nobody and never can ever forge. Canenas de bori potena para haraxis axiesmas. Yet the homas de bori macria και έχουμε ένα τεράστιο δρόμο μπροστά μας. When we see this name of Aristotle, we remember who Aristotle was. Aristotle was the great teacher of a king of ours, Alexander the Great. Golden part of our history. integral part of Hellenism. This is who Aristotle was, is and will always be. And this <coughs> will never be taken from the heritage that Greece gave to the world. Κανένας δεν θα μπορέσει ποτέ να αρπάξει από την κληρονομιά της πατρίδας μας στον κόσμο 
αυτό που ήταν ο Αριστοτέλης για μας τους Έλληνες, αλλά και για όλη την ανθρωπότητα. Ο δάσκαλος ενός δικού μας βασιλιά, του μεγαλύτερου βασιλιά που γνώρισε ο Ελληνισμός στα βάθη των αιώνων, του Μεγάλου Αλεξάνδρου. Remember who Aristotle is. Your Worship, I would like to thank you from the bottom of my heart again and again. In a society where everything seems to be superficial, <coughs> you have been always a man of integrity, of honor, somebody that I have trusted since day one. What you do today for us Greeks means a lot. But there's always more to do to honor a nation. But this is just the beginning. Trust these people who surround you today the way they trust you, the, the way they have always trusted you, because you deserve to be trusted. something we deserve. It's something that doesn't happen by chance. It's proven by history. And since perhaps this is the last time I address you in my capacity as Consul General of Greece, για μας το να ξέρουμε ποιοι είμαστε σε μια χώρα αχανή, τη δεύτερη μεγαλύτερη χώρα σε έκταση στον κόσμο, όπως είναι ο Καναδάς, in a panel of me and Nike. For us Greeks to know who we are is more than a need. It's a reality. You are blessed to be Canadians, but deep in your heart and your soul, you are Greeks and you will remain Greeks. You will always express yourself in a Greek way, in a way that reflects your faith to God in a way that reflects what you have been bestowed by your parents and your grandparents. Your mothers and fathers may not be here physically present today, but they are here like angels around us. And believe me, they are very proud, and you know it too, that they are very proud from what they see today happening here in the heart of this city. Blessing you. They are thanking you, σας ευχαριστούν για αυτό που κάνετε, γιατί τους θυμάτε, because you honor them. As I would like to conclude, and I would like to thank at this juncture, not only the Archbishop for the tremendous work that he has been doing all these years, but also somebody, a real bastion of Greece here in this city, John Agakis, a personal friend of mine, who has been a tireless worker of Hellenism and of the Christian Orthodox faith here, and all of you, the members of the church, the church, a second place to me, I would like to shout out again and again, Zita in Macedonia mas. I have the honor and the privilege to introduce our spiritual father who just this year celebrated 40 years as our shepherd here in Canada, His Eminence, 
Metropolitan Archbishop Sudeikis. So Freedom without respect of 
one another. There is no freedom without respecting the rules, the laws of the country, the rules, the laws of God. I will start here. And I want uh, all of you to spread this word that logic differentiates a human being from an animal, but the element of perfection is his freedom, and it is God-given, and all of us should enjoy it, fight for it, and respect it. Again, you worship, I thank you, and the city of London. I thank Canada, and of course Greece. I'm not going to talk about Greece, because history of Greece is no, no need to talk about this. And uh, I want uh, to ask all of you together to thank God for the freedom that he has given us from the beautiful countries Greece and Canada they are the best countries in the world and to do it by chanting the national anthem of the church so no